currently it is 5 18 a.m. and uh, sorry 8 p.m. and today is July 7 2017 and today I woke up at 2 a.m. but I was in relative house in Sunol because today was my exam and the cent exam center was in Parasi which is far away from my home moreover college said they will not provide any bus so I had to prepare myself hence yesterday I went there and worked up early and went to exam center in motorcycle of my relatives and exam was at 7 a.m. and today was compulsory English but after reaching in center I found that college had provided bus service so my effort was you know kind of went in vain overall exam was nice and I guess I will pass after giving exam I went to Murgia because woodworker who for assembling the windows of my new house had came yesterday and I had to give him some money to carry on his work and after going to Murgia I came home at 4 p.m. and since I wasn't able to finish my running today in the morning which I am now completing it in 4 sorry 5 p.m. currently the time is 1 10 a.m. and today is July 11 2017 and 106 day of running for life journey and today was my second exam sociology theoretical perspective and today I woke up at 1 30 a.m. then I started studying I went to exam center through college bus and gave exam you know it was fine I guess I will pass and I came home around 11 a.m. but it was raining at that time now also it is raining I don't know you can see it or not it's raining at that time and exercised meditated and cleaned my room first and right now I am running sort of you know kind of I'm running just, right now I'm walking and well running at this time does feel awkward there is always fear inside me about being judged by people being criticized by people but nothing bad will happen no one can do anything you see I am not doing anything wrong there is, isn't a law in any part of the world that is going that is going to prevent a person from running for his health running for good health running for life and running for his freedom See, yes people will criticize you people will judge you you know people will mock you you can't stop them even when you don't run you will not be able to stop people from thinking bad about you moreover they can't do anything more than that and they can't beat you or can't eat you as long as you follow the rules and laws of your country you are free to run anytime you want God has given you two legs it's your own leg it's your body and it's your own life you are the master of your fate you are the captain of your soul so run just run and keep running and don't stop at the end you will reach where you want to get or where you want to go currently it is 11 40 a.m. and today is July 16 2017 and 111th day of my running for life journey and today was my third day of my exam and of measure, today was measuring English prose essay and short stories today I woke up at 2 a.m. then I started studying today I went to exam center in scooter as there was no college bus I guess 
I also passed this exam and I came home at around 10.30 am and today I want to talk about comfort zone we all have our own comfort zone that sweet spot in which it is, it is easy to be you don't have to have to put any effort you don't need to do anything it doesn't take anything to be in comfort zone but you also can grow in your comfort zone if you remain in comfort zone you will never be able to grow when you stay in your comfort zone you can grow when you don't do anything on easy, on easy or hard then you can't grow you know, growth physically spiritually or intellectually all requires stimulus which are discomfort uneasiness stress and hardship so if you want to grow in life then you should be friend with discomfort and hardship you should face with uneasiness and fear instead of running away from it you see it's easy to go through the easy path it will be easy to go through that path it won't take any effort but you will not grow you will not get better if you don't go through the difficulty or hard path or or from your dis or to your discomfort by the way today is my 111th day of running for life journey and I have been running every day since 111 day 5 minutes or 760 meters for 90 days in my first phase now I am in second phase and I am running 10 minutes or 100 sorry 1500 meters a day 6 a.m. and today is July 19 2017 and today is my 114th day of running for life journey and today is more as my fourth fourth exam sociology society and culture in Nepal and today I woke up at 2 20 a.m. and I went to exam center in college bus and I guess I will pass this exam also and I went sorry I came home you know I came home at around 10 45 a.m. and there was this story which I like very much it was told by you know I heard it from Les Brown <clears throat> there is a Chinese bamboo tree when you when you plant a tree it takes five years to just to get out of ground this means you will not be able to see, even see its single leaf for five years but you have to keep on watering it taking care of it you know and after five years it grows 90 feet tall in just six weeks and if you had stopped watering that plant somewhere in that five years then it will have died you see when you don't sorry you see when you do something you will not immediately get the result you will have to wait you know to have patience you know to keep on going and even when you don't see any result you know you have to keep on going and even when you didn't get any physical sign of the growth this law is applied everywhere and nothing happens overnight there was this humorous quote Rome wasn't built in a day and if it was then we would have hired its contractor you see everything takes time for great result we have to give great sacrifice and we have to have patience and keep on persevering and keep trying well it won't be easy it will be difficult it feels like quitting every day you know I feel like quitting well it don't take anything to quit anyone can quit anyone can give up but it takes everything to keep going during those hard times those difficult times when you are trying hard when you are giving everything you got but you are not seeing any result but you are not seeing and any change at that time you need to have a faith you need to believe in yourself that you will make it to the end things will change and this will this thing will happen you need to have the vision 
you know you have to keep you have to see where you want to go and you need to keep going right now you might have started running maybe today is a haunting day or 100 day but you are not seeing any result but don't give up keep going i promise you if you keep going if you don't give up then you will make it it might take one year two year five year or even ten years but if you keep going you will make it you will get the desired result and you will lose the weight you will run the marathon but if you quit if you give up you will not get anything you will lose everything so have patience keep going keep running every day have the vision see it feel it even before it happens every single day and don't stop fight back keep fighting keep hustling and keep running for your life today is my sorry, today is July 25 2017 and today is my 120 day of running for life journey and today was my fifth exam major English drama and film and today I woke up at 2 a.m. with alarm and took a small nap between 4.45 to 5.15 a.m. and I went to college or you can say exam center in a scooter and came home at around 10.30 a.m. I guess I'll also pass today's exam and today is 120 day of running for life journey that is four months since last four months I've been running every single day in every circumstances even when I was in Kathmandu even when I woke up at late at, I mean at 9 a.m. I even ran at 9 a.m. 10 a.m. even when it was raining or even when it was my exam like today I ran in, in, during exam I ran at around 11 a.m. 12 p.m. or even 2 p.m. and today is the end of my second year exam actually it, it, it has already finished in this way my challenge to run even in exam is also finished from today but my main point was no matter what the situation is you can always run if you really want to run well I wasn't always bulletproof like this still I am not still there is a fear inside me but I choose to look at brighter side instead of darker pessimistic and ugly one and I still remember my first day of running I was afraid my legs were shaking my heart was beating fast and I was afraid I was fearing that people about people and their critical judgments and mockery there was an obstacle problem at every point for example within just about one month of my running journey my leg started paining at knee it was so bad that I wasn't even able to walk properly I checked up my leg x-rayed it and got calcium tablet worth of one month during those times I just walked I walked and walked for one month and even while walking there was a fear inside me every time there was something new there was fear inside me what I found is there will always be fear inside you while doing something new beyond that fear there is victory I urge you to run I urge you to focus in focused you to run just a single day just focus in a single day don't worry about future future will take care of itself and you don't you don't need to worry about it just run every day day by day you will make it you will get better and stronger as day passes on Bye.